What is going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make city scenes in Blender. I will try my best to break down my process in 5 simple steps. Step number 1, reference. When finding reference, my preference is Pinterest, although I get distracted way too easily on it. Anyways, just search something like city scene. You need to decide if you're making a nighttime or daytime scene. Completely your choice. Also try to get as much variety of reference images as possible. Oh, and if you need an easy tool to preview these images, you can use PureRef, which I will link in the description. And if you want more reference from elsewhere, you can just go to stock image websites like Pixels, Pixabay, or just grab some from Google. Step number two, lockout. To those of you guys who don't know what a blockout is, it's basically making the entire layout of your scene or character from its simple shapes. You could also use layouts from a specific reference onto the layout of your city. And try not to get overwhelmed when making your blockout, it's just a simple layout. For example, if I'm making a city blockout from scratch, I use a human scale reference so I make everything to scale and start off with the road and pavements, depending on what kind of city I make. I then move on to making the simple blockout of the shops and buildings. Next I start making simple placeholders for any other decorations or additional stuff that happens to be in cities. But you guys can be really creative when making your city. Step number 3. Finding your shot. My advice is try making a camera angle that looks quite dynamic. If you're struggling with this, just get some ideas from the reference you gathered earlier and really just experiment with it until you get one that looks good to you. Step number four, adding details and assets. Now you can make the assets yourself or you can download them from elsewhere. However, there are a load of assets and tools on my Patreon that you guys can use, especially shops and buildings for making your city. Link is in the description. So once you've got some assets, you can start placing them around according to your blocker. Make sure you add as much variation as possible, like adding cables, making grievances and placing them around to add even more details to your scene and making some scaffolding as supports. You can even get away with duplicating the same things around the layout. Actually, you may also add in stalls, signs, Ian Huber people assets hanging around in the background, and whatever else you want to add. But as I said earlier, you guys can be really creative when making your cities. Make sure you go back to your reference and get some ideas of what kind of details you can add to your city. Another thing to consider with adding details and assets is optimization. For example, making sure that there are none unnecessary things outside the camera's view, since Blender still needs to process that stuff as well with rendering. Another example would be to make faraway stuff lower quality than the things that are up close. If you are fast scene, you're able to put some optimized assets closer and cover up the low detail with motion blur. The amount and type of optimization really depends on the type of city you're making and the shot. But here are some more examples of optimization in some of my scenes. In this scene, the shops on the streets were literally just shop PNGs, and the lights on the background were also PNGs of distant cities. And in this scene, I used city images from Pinterest as the streets down the road. There is so much other stuff that you guys can do to optimize your scenes. While you are adding all your assets in, you can use parts of your blocker and add more detail to them as well. You can shape it around your assets and add in simple materials like concrete metal and whatever suits your scene. Then start adding in little details and imperfections to add some more interest to your scenes. Like graffiti on walls, rubbish scattered around, worn out stickers in random places, aircon units, traffic lights. You can add in glitchy lights by animating the value of the emission strength and adding a noise modifier to it. Go crazy with wires, but not too crazy. You can even add a completely random bag minding its own business. But be mindful that when making your city, it won't look good straight away. But you need to keep on experimenting and continuously improving the scene. Sometimes you may even need to start over again and that's completely fine. Oh and did I mention that I actually have a Discord server so feel free to join. Link is in the description. Step number 5. Lighting and rendering. There are a variety of things that come into place when lighting your scene. If it's a daytime scene, I usually use a HDRI or a sunlight. And if it's a nighttime scene, I set the world color to very dark value or you could just use a nighttime HDRI. However, most of the time, I like nighttime shots with pretty much just emissive textures, meaning that pretty much most of the light is coming from emissive signs, glowing shot fronts, and anything else that can cast light into the shot. I usually use spotlights just for the lamp post to light the street. And if I have a shot that only shows one side of the street, I get images of city streets and import them as emissive textures into Blender. And I place them where the camera can't see them to give an impression that there is something there and gives off some nice reflections. The main downside of primarily using emissive lights is the fact that it's very render intensive. So sometimes if there are not many visual emissive lights in the shot, I light the whole scene with regular lights. And it's more simple than it looks, like highlights on trees, lights coming off of shops, and just general lights in certain areas. Once you have managed to create your scene, all you need to do is just render. Anyways, hope you guys learned something from this video and I'll see you guys soon.